I believe Kappa League has lasted uh, 50 years because of the evolving changes that the fraternity has made to support the youth in the community. I think that the impact that we've made is to give them the confidence to know that they are special and that they can do and accomplish almost anything in the world. Right now, we mentor, um, at least in Kappa League, uh, close to 8,000 young men a year, teaching them how to be the next generation of fathers and husbands uh, that will be the ones that will marry our daughters and take this, uh, this next generation of African-American manhood forward. I've seen young men come in, they're sixth graders and they're quiet and they're shy. And as they've been here in the program, actually encouraged them to do things and actually pull them out of, the, out of their, their shells. And as they came out of those shells, those same young men that were quiet and, and shy went on to be become leaders. Um, the majority of our the Capital Leaguers are from single parent homes. There's no father figure, no male figure in their lives. And they have taken the arms of, of me and saw me as a father figure, as well as their mentor. I've seen some that had to take care of their family. Some that has even went to jail. And the first person they call is me. It feels good to be able to hear from a young man who you've known since 12, and now he's in his early 20s, and he makes his first home purchase. Um, you know, uh, young men call and just say hello and, and thank you in a random in a random uh, time, you know, even though you're not talking with them on a weekly basis. So um, I would say that the impact that we've had, uh, you know, though it's probably not publicized, um, has been truly, truly amazing. The input that we provide is invaluable. Uh, there's a lot of times that you don't realize just the, the smallest bit of information can make the turn for these young men to take a path that will be more fruitful for them. A lot of people poured into me, and I believe that it's part of my job to pay it forward and to pour into other people with the same lessons that they gave to me. This is the most fulfilling project of my entire life. You know, we see these young men come in and many of them develop in such incredible ways over a three or four year period of time. And we have really kind of gotten them ready to develop into men because we created the foundation. Man, it's just, it's a joy of mine just to see them come out of that shell and, and the blossom, you know, just like the, the, the caterpillar turned into a butterfly. You know, anything that has lasted for 50 years and sustained that long, it's a pretty darn good program. Our young men are our future. So I just encourage brothers, you know, um, even if your passion isn't, you know, mentoring daily basis, um, provide financial support to your guy, right chapters, to your capital League chapters. If you're on the fence about what you want to get involved with this year, Come get involved with Capital League. We want to invite every single new to come and bring your skills, come and bring your knowledge, come and bring your expertise and share it with these young men. Good afternoon. Indulge me for a bit on a journey down Capital Lane. Imagine this, high school graduates lacking formulated definitive vocational objectives to steer and inspire them into successful pursuits. The unavailability of big brothers in their communities who are willing and able to lend them a hand in finding a constructive answer to that momentous question, how shall I invest my life? Does this sound familiar? Sure it does. This dilemma still rings true today. These were the words spoken by the late Leon Stewart the second poll mark of the St. Louis Alumni Chapter at a banquet in St. Louis in 1922. With achievement as the basic theme, a framework for success was formed. Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated has the unique distinction of having a youth service initiative written into its constitution and statutes. 47 poll marks separate Brother Stewart and me. 
I am Samuel G. Boyd III, National Guide Right Executive Committee Special Projects Lead and the 50th poll mark of the St. Louis Alumni Chapter. As a proud member of the chapter that birthed the Guide Right Movement, I bring you greetings on behalf of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated and the National Guide Right Executive Committee. Establishing protocol, please join me in acknowledging our grand poll mark, Reuben A. Shelton III, Esquire. Past grand poll marks, grand chapter officers, Kappa Foundation, Province Poll Marks, Grand Chapter Awardees, Grand Chapter Executive Team, National Committee Chairs, Province Officers, Local Poll Marks, Local Chapter Officers, and Brothers All. Today, we honor some Kappa greats, Jay Crosby, Mel Davis, Burt B. Watkins, and Leon W. Stewart, by presenting awards respectfully named in their honor for chapter of the year. Outstanding undergraduate brother, outstanding alumni director, and outstanding member of a guide right program. In addition, we will also honor the mentors of the year. Keeping this idea of guide right relevant does not come easy, but the synergy of dedicated men with purpose and ambition falls in line with the old adage, many hands make a heavy load light. Therefore, I would be remiss if I did not recognize my team, the National Guide Right Executive Committee. Chairman, Kevin Burnett. Vice Chairman, Doug Scarborough. Vice Chairman, Oscar Neely. Organizational Effectiveness Lead, Daud Hasib. Technology Lead, Ben Jackson. Public Relations, Damon Peebles. The National Capital League Spokesman, John Marshall Jones, Province Guide Right Directors, Chapter Guide Right Directors, and Guide Right Advisors. Last, but certainly not least, a hearty thank you to all of our Guide Right members, Capital Leaguers, family, and friends. I welcome you to the National Guide Right Awards Program. Let us not pause and ask the blessing as we're led in our invocation by Brother Jermaine Mary, National Kappa League Virtual Lead. Welcome to our 85th Grand Chapter National Guy Right Awards Program. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for allowing us to gather in the spirit of Guy Right. We ask that you pray for our Guy Right participants and our National Guy Right Commission. We also ask a special prayer to the brothers of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. We ask all these things in your name. Amen. Next on our program is a history and overview of Guide Right, presented by Brother Ben Jackson, National Guide Right Executive Technology Lead. Good afternoon. In 1922, our fraternity adopted a most significant program of social concern named Guide Right. It was founded at a time where there was a clear recognition that if Black youth were to find their way to meaningful involvement in the social and economic process, special effort on the part of those who could provide the expertise and help generated motive would be necessary. St. Louis alumni brothers Leon W. Stewart and J. Jerome Peters created the initial program to assist high school seniors started as Concentration Week. Seven days of guide right activities and evolved in 1936 into year-long programs. Mel Davis at the Los Angeles Alumni Chapter for Young Men at Allen Leroy Locke High School. It became the leading model for Guy Wright in 1970. Guy Wright has grown to 185 chapters and 8,500 students annually with a focus on college preparation, community service, 
and leadership. We have reached 50 years of Kappa League in, 19, in 2020. And in 2022, it will mark 100 years of Guide Right. Guide Right is the oldest and most successful mentoring program for young people of color. Now, as we move into our presentation of National Guide Right Awards, our first presenter will be Brother Terry Ward, Northern Province Guide Right Chairman. Hello, I'm here to present the Best Practices Award. We were looking for examples of best practices that chapters had engaged in to navigate during the pandemic in 2020 and 21. Many chapters have had its share of challenges, but they have managed to find creative ways to deliver quality programs. Therefore, we're acknowledging chapters with best practices while mentoring through a pandemic. The practices could be virtual tours, award programs, competitive events, or any activity utilized to keep our young men engaged. Special thanks to the following chapters for their submissions. Jefferson City, Missouri Alumni Chapter, Mobile Alumni Chapter, Montgomery, Alabama Alumni Chapter, Petersburg, Virginia Alumni Chapter, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania Alumni Chapter, Sacramento, California Alumni Chapter, San Fernando, Santa, Clara, Santa Clarita, California Alumni Chapter, Seattle, Washington Alumni Chapter, Southfield, Michigan Alumni Chapter, and St. Louis, Missouri Alumni Chapters. The winning chapters will receive $500. There will be three winners, and the winners are Petersburg Kappa League, Eastern Province, Southfield Kappa League, Northern Province, Mobile Kappa League, Southern Province. Now it's time to acknowledge some special brothers within Cap Alpha Psi with our Mentor of the Year Awards, presented by Brother Shannon Falk, Western Province Guide Right Chairman. Good afternoon, brothers. The Guide Right Mentor of the Year Award is to recognize outstanding Guide Right service at the local chapter level. A maximum of one brother per province can be recognized for their guide right service and mentorship. The award is not open to chapter, capital lead, or guide right chairman or directors. At this time, we'd like to proudly recognize the following. Our next awards presented by Brother Scott Johnson, Eastern Province Guide Right Chairman. The award that I will be presenting is the Social Action Community Service Award. This award was uh, designed based on leadership skills, group dynamics, and social media for social action community service. There will be four awards given for this. The fourth place winner will receive $100, the third place winner will receive $400. The second place winner will receive $600. And the first place winner will receive $1,000. The award will be presented based on the following point accumulation. Presentation, 30 points. Planning, 20 points. Results, 30 points. And research project, 20 points. And the winners are? Fourth place. New Rochelle White Plains Kappa League, Northeastern Province. Third place, St. Louis Kappa League, Middle Western Province. Second place, Alexandria Fairfax Kappa League, Eastern Province. First place, Richardson Plano, Kappa League, Southwestern Province. 
This is my brother Evan Taylor. We are both proud officers and members of the Guide Right Kappa League chapter, sponsored by the RPA alumni of Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity. It's now estimated that as many as 42 million people, including 13 million children, may experience food insecurity in 2021. These troubling statistics are forcing people to make difficult decisions of paying rent or putting food on the table. According to Feeding America, one in five black citizens and one in six Hispanic citizens may now be considered food insecure. We have decided to help our neighbors by partnering with the Minis Food Pantry to conduct a fundraising drive and support their impactful initiatives. June is National Hunger Awareness Month. During our KL Serve campaign, we used word of mouth, email, and social media to solicit donations across our network. We also shared the campaign details during our foundation scholarship program. As a result, we received several personal and corporate donations. We were also highly motivated by a pledge of up to $1,000 to match our efforts by TD Realty. We happily accepted the challenge. Thank you to TD Realty for helping support our campaign to help support Minnie's Food Pantry and helping to provide meals in the North Texas area. Definitely, we would not be doing anything else today. We would be very happy to be here uh, helping support families in Plano because that's what it's all about. To increase our impact, we also spent today working in the pantry along with our friends Sigma Gamma Roar Kendall and Omega Spark Caden. We were busy during our fun day of service and completed several activities from setting up the drive through tents, to sorting and packaging produce and protein items, to cleaning the pantry upon completion. At the end of our campaign, we were able to raise over $2,000 to stock the pantry and earn the match from TD Realty. We are proud to say we raised over $3,000 to help our local neighbor. Every dollar raised will be used to restock the pantry. At Minis, $1 is 3 meals. So this campaign will provide more than 9,000 meals to help local families during these challenging times. Anyone can be great because anyone can serve by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Thank you to everyone who donated, especially TD Realty with the extra generous match. We couldn't have done this without you. Being a collegiate fraternity, it is a special honor now to have our undergraduate Got Right Chapter of the Year Award presented by Brother Lashante Keys, Southern Province Got Right Chairman. Cap Alpha Psi is the second oldest existing collegiate historically black Greek letter fraternity and the first intercollegiate fraternity incorporated as a national body. It remains the only Greek letter organization with its alpha chapter on Indiana's university's campus. The fraternity has over 125,000 members with 700 undergraduate and alumni chapters in nearly every state of the United States and international chapters in Nigeria, South Africa, the West Indies, the United Kingdom, Germany, Korea, and Japan, and is divided into 12 provinces. Today, I have the honor of presenting the most outstanding undergraduate Guy Wright program with the Grand Chapter Undergraduate Guy Wright Chapter of the Year Award. Next, we will announce the winner and show a video of their achievements. I like that, y'all. And now, the award you've all been waiting for, presented by Brother John Marshall Jones, our National Kappa League spokesman, here to present the Kappa League TV Awards. Kappa League TV! Noobs, how you doing? This is your man, John Marshall Jones, National Spokesperson for Kappa League and Executive Producer of Kappa League TV. And... I just want to welcome you right now to the Kappa League TV 2021 Video Awards. Now, you know, it's been a crazy year. Yeah, we had COVID-19, we had protests in the streets, we had a crazy president, we had all kinds of crazy stuff going on this year. 
And we thought that that would be something that would maybe inhibit people from being able to make videos. But instead, we found that Capital League TV was perfectly positioned to expand during the craziest time in my lifetime in American history. So Capital League TV over this time doubled our subscriber base. We're up now over 7,000 subscribers. And we also tripled our viewing hours. So we're up to over 3,000 viewing hours and very, very close to our goal of being able to monetize Capital League TV and start turning it into something that could bring in funds that will help to support the Capital League programs overall. And all of that could not have happened if it wasn't for the good brothers of Kappa Alpha Psi. The work that you've done this year is extraordinary. Every single one of you and the work that our Capital Leaguers have done to stay involved and to stay current and active, that's extraordinary as well. We came up with some really, really exciting programs this year also that we probably wouldn't have thought of if it wasn't for COVID. We came up with the Western Province Gaming uh, Tournament, which then became the National NBA 2K Kappa League, NBA 2K21 Kappa League Tournament. The Eastern Province started a debating competition, which became the national debating competition, something that will go on uh, year over year. We also had a fantastic uh, Mother's Day presentation that was hosted by Brother Jermaine Murray and Brothers Troy D. Johnson and Edward Dawson hosted the How to Find Money for College in Unusual Places seminar, one of our most successful seminars of the year. So I want to acknowledge the brothers that were a part of that. Brother Kevin Burnett, our National Gaming Committee, Brother Damon Peoples, Brother Steve Wilson, Brother Ben Jackson, Brother Scott Johnson, Brothers Troy D. Johnson and Ed Dawson, and of course, Brother Jermaine Murray. Thank you for all the extraordinary work that you put in. And now, let's begin the Kappa League TV 2021 Video Awards. We began the year by joining the National Vote Your Voice Matters competition, a competition that teaches young filmmakers to use the power of media to encourage their community to vote. Our nominees for the Best Vote Your Voice Matters video are Alpharetta Smyrna, Stockbridge Jonesboro, and San Antonio Kappa Leagues. And the winner is... Alpharetta Smyrna Kappa League, Jarrell Clavo. Congratulations, guys. Let's take a look. Kappa League TV! 400 years ago, our enslaved ancestors were brought to this country in shackles. Their black lives didn't matter. In the 50s and 60s, our civil rights heroes were brutalized and assassinated, fighting for our equality. Now, it's 2020, during a pandemic, and we're still fighting for our lives and our voices to matter. So, mail in or mask up, but by all means, vote. Your voice matters. Social justice was a major theme in 2020. Our nominees for best social justice video are Greater Hartford, Fort Lauderdale, Alpharetta Smyrna, Winter Park, and San Fernando Santa Clarita Kappa League. And the winner is Greater Hartford Kappa League. Let's take a look. What does it take to fulfill a dream? Langston Hughes asked us, what happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? We in Capilane know a dreamer in the form of Elder Watson Diggs, one of our 10 founders. He served as president of this fraternity beginning in 1911, seeking to unite college men of culture, patriotism, and honor in a bond of fraternity. Fighting against a college campus filled with racism, his dream paved the way for thousands of other young men of color to have equal access to education on a predominantly white campus. Today, we celebrate another dreamer the great Martin Luther King Jr. I could spend all day walking you through history, reflecting on his influence as he led nonviolent demonstrations. Jailed 29 times, his dream couldn't be contained. It was much larger as he traveled on the Freedom Riders bus from state to state. It was much larger as he met with organizers in churches. It was much larger than his march on Selma. His dream was shared with a crowd of 250,000 supporters on August 28, 1963, after other speakers from the Big Six addressed the crowd on different topics pertaining to jobs and freedom. In 2021, the dream still lives on. 
Here are a few of today's young dreamers who will share how they plan to continue the dream. Hello, my name is Aiden, and I will continue the dream by leading by example and making sure my peers don't slack off. I will continue the dream by being a leader to my peers. I will continue the dream by not being judgmental and bringing more positivity to the world. I will continue the dream by not forgetting the sacrifice made by all those who came before me. I will use my work ethic, my positive attitude, and my self-discipline to leave my mark on the world and achieve all the goals I've set for myself. I will continue the dream by maintaining my academic distinction as well as graduate from middle school and attend the boarding high school of my choice. I'll focus on my education and community service opportunities. I have a dream that in four years, I'll be attending Brown University. I will continue this dream by working hard in all of my classes and leading those around me by an example of excellence. My name is Trey Williams, and I will continue the dream by creating value for the world. Well, my name is Shane, and I will continue the dream by working hard and staying focused. I will continue the dream by graduating high school, attending the college of my choice, graduating from college, and then giving back to the community that helped to raise me. I will continue the dream by thriving in the music industry and influencing the world. I will continue the dream by finishing at the top of my class. I will continue the dream by being a role model for the young black man coming up after me, like my brother. I will continue the dream by carrying on my family's legacy. I will continue the dream by becoming a professional football player. Dr. King, I will continue the dream. This year we had some young men take it upon themselves to make some extraordinary videos about the things that are important to them. Our nominees for Best Individual Video are Michael Jones Bay, Devin Kirkwood, and Cameron Whitney. And the winner is Cameron Whitney of Petersburg Alumni Capoli. Congratulations, Cameron. What do you have to say? You have to get to this stage in life where you're going for it is more important than winning or losing. Arthur Ashe. Now, Arthur Ashe was a very strong, inspirational, successful black tennis player. And even though he is not with us today, his quotes still live on. Now, the quote I just read to you may mean a complete different thing to you personally, but to me, I think it means that you just can't be focused on winning or losing. What matters is you go for your goal, do your best, and enjoy the process. Take Arthur Ashe, for example. At one point of his life, he was so caught up in winning or losing at tennis that he got to just enjoy himself and have fun with his passion. And I think this quote can say a lot about me as well. For instance, there is one time in my life where I had friends over and we played soccer. And I love soccer. So of course I wanted to be the leader and I did get the role. But then all this doubt came into my head. I don't think I'm strong enough. I don't think I'm quick enough. I don't think I'm smart enough. I don't think that I can be the leader. So then someone else took the role, and they did an amazing job. And I bet you anything that they weren't focused solely on winning or losing. They just probably went out there, had fun with it, and did their best. And ever since then, I have tried to live by this quote. And I think that this quote can help society as a whole like it did for me. Just don't focus only on winning or losing at your passion. Just go out there, do your best, and enjoy yourself when trying to achieve that goal. College Signing Day is a big event for Kappa League chapters all across the country. Our nominees for Best College Signing Day video are St. Louis, Fort Lauderdale, and Richardson Plano Kappa League. And the winner is... Fort Lauderdale Kappa League.
What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? Mental freeze when these people talk too much. Put that in slow motion, yeah. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Ay, what you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? You can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much. Put that in slow motion, yeah. For sure, you gon' need three promoters. I got the body from Jim Ellis, but I had switched the motor. I got these badass riding around this, they all the coders. I just told them make the story. I just bought all the Trojans. I told her stop my meat. I told her stop telling that thing she seen and told her meet me at the Ritz. Let's go. I got with guests in the back of my ring and I went in trying to hit. I told her she gotta run to the team before she get tossed to the lit. I told little mama tie all my shoes Showed her to me in cash, now she woozy 20 watches and I'm still snoozing I had came up at the trenches Then I had beat a few bodies like Boosie She said, you book him, I show you my group Yeah, I had to sing to this pop like Latusi Yeah, 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 yeah My name is Robert McClyman I'll be attending Palm Beach State And Kappa League means a lot to me Without it, I wouldn't have been able to experience a lot of things and learn a lot more and meet just so many great people. Uh, I also want to thank my parents. I couldn't have done any of this without them or get anywhere like where I am right now without them. So thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Justin Folks, and I'll be attending Harvard University in the fall. And I'll be majoring in government and, and economics. Um, Capitalism to me means having opportunities that I wouldn't have had otherwise, like being a uh, page ambassador for the Florida House Representatives. And I want to give a special thank you to my mom and dad because otherwise I would definitely not be in this position today. So thank you guys so much. Hello, my name is Landon Ivory and I'll be attending Florida A&M University in the summer. And what Kappa League means to me, it has taught me a lot about leadership and what it means to be a black male. And I want to thank my mom and dad for putting, putting me into Kappa League because it has taught me a lot about myself. Hello, my name is Boyd Leonard. Um, I'm going to Florida Atlantic University in the fall. I'm majoring in commercial entrepreneurship. And uh, Capra League has been you know, very good to me. It's made me you know, get inspired to do more things, make change in the community. And uh, you know, I want to thank Bobby and Mr. Uh, Folks for a great experience. Uh, lastly, you know, um, I want to thank my parents, my mom and dad for always pushing me to be the best I could be. You know, I could be a pain sometimes, but you know, they, they still love me. I love them too. Thank you. Hello, my name is Henry Ingram, and I'll be attending the University of Florida. Capital League, to me, it's a brotherhood. It's full of great people. It's taught me so much. Mom and Dad, I love you. Thank you for raising me to be the person that I am, getting me to where I am today. Hey, y'all. My name is Inari Kanai Taylor, and I will be attending FGCU, otherwise known as Florida Gulf Coast University, in the fall to study or double major in side business and journalism. Capital League means a lot to me because not only did it teach me to become a successful young black man, but it also taught me how to be pretty cool. I mean, I think. Anyway, mom and dad, thank you because you guys are always there for me. Like, not everyone can have parents that are as supportive as you. And I just have to say thank you. And I love you guys a lot. So yeah. Hi, my name is Kevin White. And in the fall, I'll be attending the Real HU Howard University. And Capital League has taught me how to become a thriving member in my community. And I'd like to thank my parents for allowing me to be part of this organization and for showing me how to become the best person I can be. Hi, my name is Amari Freeman. Uh, in the fall, I will be attending Florida a and University. Uh, to me, Capital League means leadership, brotherhood, and experience. And I would really just like to thank my parents for enrolling me in Capital League and providing me with the different experiences and the care that they have. First and foremost, guys, congratulations. It has been an incredible year with a lot of ups and downs. And through this entire experience, I got to say, you all have grown a lot. And you've been hit with a lot of jabs. So if nothing else, the one bit of advice I can tell you, with every door that is open, walk through it. Enjoy the experience that you have, because it's only one time you get to experience. So with that being said, congratulations. I love y'all boys, and it is an amazing experience to have the time to share with you all that I did. Absolutely. Uh, man, just sitting here thinking about how fast time flies. I remember you guys entered 
uh, Junior Capital League, and now you guys are young men, uh, from boys to men. Uh, it has really been an incredible journey. Uh, super proud of each and every one of you. Jeez, uh, uh, Amari, Anari, Kevin, Robert, Justin, uh, Landon, uh, Bori, jeez. Um, now nah, I said Robert. Come on, Brent. I said, <laughs> come, let me see you do all eight of Come on, you ready? Really good. Landon, Amari, Kevin, Bory. Anari, Bory. Bory, Taylor. I already said that. Justin, Henry, Henry, and Robert. That's all eight. I just had to give him that quiz. <laughs> nah, we, we, we've been kind of doing this for years, and you guys have uh, become more than mentees to us. Uh, Listen, this is only the beginning of another journey. Uh, mentorship uh, expands beyond high school. We will be here for you as you take on that journey in college. Know that we're just a phone call away. We are really proud of you all. Uh, go out and be great. Uh, we know that you are prepared for your next journey. And all of you, I congratulate you, but I gotta give a special shout out to Henry. Go Gators. <laughs> All right, uh, all I can do is uh, reiterate what these two gentlemen have already said and like the uh, photo shoot, uh, hope you're inspired for the 2021 class to soar to great heights. And uh, it's been a pleasure watching you guys just grow up. And it's a very special class for a lot of reasons. And I must say, uh, you know, to Justin, we're so proud of you and, and, and happy. Uh, not only for your accomplishments, but for your ability to try new things. And that goes for all the Kappa Leaguers, and uh, we absolutely love you. We just can't wait to see all the things that you do in the future. And you notice how Mr. Folk said, soar, you know, fly, <laughs> he's a pilot. <laughs> Get it. But yeah, and so this has been full circle. When you guys were in uh, Junior Kappa League, we did the whole aviation focus, and uh, it's just a complete circle. It's amazing that uh, we started with aviation, we end with aviation, because it's really important. We think you guys are prepared to take off, and uh, Mr. Folks will continue to be the pilot and the captain. And uh, we love you all, and good luck, and congratulations. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge three of our outstanding achievers, Niles Holt, Luke Williams, and Josh Hardy. This year, they produced five videos for Kappa League TV, which will help us tell the story of Kappa League for years to come. Kappa League TV! I'm Niles Holt from the Alpharetta Smyrna Alumni Chapter of Kappa League, and you're watching Kappa League TV. In February 2019 at the Southeastern Province, thank you for joining us. Can you tell us what first interested you in the technology field? You've been involved in some noted cases, one including Messiah Young. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, Messiah Young. You're not old enough to vote, but you're encouraging other people to vote. Why do you think it's important for people to vote? I think that it's important because... The gaming industry is not as diverse as it could be. There are few people of color and few women of color. You could open up wonderful opportunities for yourself and other people. This is the second time the ASA Capital League has participated in this program. The upcoming election is expected to be contentious and all sides are urging their supporters to vote. January is the start of a new year and it's also the start of National Mentoring Month. You've worked with Kappa Leaguers on a national and local level. What can they be doing right now to secure their future? Well, I think the biggest thing that you can do... Can you tell us a little about the hashtag campaign, Why Kappa Mentor? Sure, uh, hashtag campaign... Reporting for Kappa League TV, I'm Luke Williams. Reporting for Kappa League TV, I'm Niles Holt. Capital League TV! We have a lot of great videos coming this year, but only the most impactful video can be chosen for Video of the Year. Our nominees for this year's Video of the Year are Alpharetta Smyrna and Greater Hartford. And the winner is... Alpharetta Smyrna for their January is Mentoring Month video. Congratulations, guys. We're proud of you. Kappa League TV! 
I'm Niles Holt from the Alpharetta Smyrna Alumni Chapter Kappa League, and you're watching Kappa League TV. January is the start of a new year, and it's also the start of National Mentoring Month. On January 18, 2002, President George W. Bush signed a proclamation naming January as National Mentoring Month. I called up with National Guide Right Chairman Kevin Burnett to discuss Kappa Alpha Psi's annual initiative, Why Kappa's Mentor. Thank you for joining us, Brother Burnett. Good. Glad to be here. Can you tell us a little about the hashtag campaign, Why Kappa's Mentor? Sure. Uh, hashtag campaign was a campaign that National Guide Right started uh, about five years ago and the importance of it was to raise awareness on uh, Kappas that are mentoring our Kappa League students and the good job they're doing and how that's impacted and affected their lives. What has been the overall impact of the campaign for the public or for the Kappa Leaguers? Uh, we've had a little bit over uh, 300,000 uh, likes or uh, mentions in regards to this, so this is something that not only raises awareness to the public, but also raises awareness uh, to the Kappas and Kappa Leaguers on what we're doing. It's your hope that by using the hashtag #WhyKappasMentor with these posts, the campaign will go viral. If so, what are you hoping it accomplishes? So yes, we would love for it to go viral. Uh, the most important thing, though, is just to continue to raise their awareness. If it goes viral, then that will just uh, highlight a little bit more about what uh, what Kappas are doing with uh, young people of color and then the outstanding uh, students that uh, that we're working with. So. Uh, being viral will just hopefully help expand the program. Thank you for your time, Brother Burnett. Thank you, and you have a happy new year. In February 2019, at the Southeastern Province Kappa League Conference, the Kappa Brothers were asked to tell the Kappa Leaguers why they mentored. Guide Right Director Marvin Dawson from Thomasville Alumni Chapter delivered this powerful and prompt new speech. Good evening. Good evening. Why do I mentor? It's all about you. It's all about you. My motivation comes from you. I get energy from you. When I come here and I spend time with Georgia and South Carolina Capitol, I draw energy from you. When we have the National Capitol League Conference, Capitol Leaguers from all over the United States, I get energy from you. Why do I mentor? Because I want every last one of you to make it. There are so many people that say that you won't make it. So many. But you got to have somebody in your life, outside of your parents, that say, son, you can make it. That's why I mentor. I mentor because I want you to stay alive. When you are approached by a police officer or anyone, I want you to know how to handle yourself. That's why I mentor. I mentor because I want you to understand the importance of getting a good education. I mentor because you need to know how to talk to people. You need to always be ready when somebody put the mic in your hand. That's why I mentor. I mentor because I want you to make it. One day, one day, all of you graduate from high school. And you gotta have a plan for your life. And some of you will say, I don't know what that plan is. That's where I come in. I'll help you. See, all you need to do is take one step. And you took that step when you came to Cap. I said, I wanna be a Capitalist. Now, you got all these Capital men around you. Every last one of us, we graduated from college, have successful careers. 
And guess what? You get to spend time with us. Guess what else? You get to spend time with young men just like yourself that want more out of life. You don't want to be complacent. You don't want to be like everybody else. You want to succeed. That's why I meant it. Sometimes you might not know. But if you got somebody like me in your life that's going to give it to you straight, but at the same time help you, that's why I mentor. I can get real emotional about talking about my Catholic legal. Because you guys, y'all don't understand. Us Catholic League directors, we love you. Sometimes you might not think so. A man, it's a 15 and we're going to put it all up your behind if you ain't doing right. That's right. Because you got to make it. Somebody saying that you wasn't going to make it. Somebody said that you ain't worth five cents. Somebody said you dumb. You stupid. Somebody told you that. Somebody, somebody, if they didn't tell you, they look at you like that. So you got to understand, when we get on your behind, it's because we love you. You got to understand that. It ain't about whether or not if you like us, but listen to what we're saying. We're taking time to get out in the community and raise money to bring you here. Somebody thought enough to send you here. Take advantage of it. That's why I mentor. That's why I mentor. You gotta make it. And don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't make it. Anybody that's dead weight around you, if they are not doing right, every last one of you in here know right from wrong. And if somebody's not doing right, you get from wrong. Because they don't mean you no good. I cut my best friend off. Because he had habits. I want to be successful. And this is what it's about. Man, this weekend you're gonna get so much. We ask you to be like a sponge and soak it all in. Take all you can. Because you know one thing about it. Everything good that every capital man that talked to you this weekend say. Everything good that we have in us. Now we got some jacked up in us too. But everything good that we have in us. We're gonna pour it in that silver. You know, uh, brother, y'all know back in the day when mama would shake that, pour that flower in that silver and, and shake that flower through, and all that good flour would come out, and that not enough flour, all that stayed in the pan. See, oh, brother, look, y'all, the young, young brother, all that good that we have in us, that's what we're gonna pour into you so that you can make it. That's why I'm in Thank you. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Dawson. Thank you for having me today. In light of the COVID restrictions and the current pandemic we live in today, um, how do you mentor someone when you can't even see them face to face? Well, I tell you, Lou, it's, it's a little bit challenging, man, uh, but we are getting it done. Uh, we are meeting virtually and getting an opportunity to spend a lot of time with uh, the Kappa Legals, making them um, more aware, actually, of what's really going on uh, around us in the world. Uh, it, it, it has been a lot of fun getting to uh, see them because I tell them, I say, I miss you guys because I haven't seen you in person, but I am getting an opportunity to meet with them on a monthly basis, at, at the very least, uh, on a monthly basis, and um, it's been going quite well for us so far. What activities can the mentees do during this um, mentor appreciation month? Well, what, we, uh, what we're planning on doing and what we have done is we continue to meet virtually um, by Zoom and uh, 
talk about what's going on in the world right now as far as the coronavirus is concerned, as far as um, uh, the elections, getting out to vote, uh, doing everything that we could uh, to uh, touch anyone's life uh, possible. And I, and I asked them, I said, you know, start at home with your parents. Uh, make sure that your parents are, are registered to vote. Make sure that uh, your parents are making, uh, are seeing to it that, you know, you're following all the uh, proper steps as far as the coronavirus is concerned. And by doing it this way, we're still uh, staying in touch with the Capitol leaders and, and guiding them along. Your speech last February to the mentees really inspired something in pretty much all of us that watched that speech that day. And I was just wondering, has there ever been an instance where a mentor has inspired you? The inspiration of my life is my father. My father taught me uh, everything that I needed to know uh, to make it in life. Um, he, he taught me uh, how to work. He taught me how to be responsible. He taught me how to uh, make a difference in other people's lives. I always see, I, I used to always see my father uh, give and help people and, and do things of that sort. So that was my very first inspiration. That's where I learned uh, that I need to have a heart big enough to uh, think about other people and put people sometimes, you know, put people before myself because um, without him giving me that guidance, um, I, I don't know where, where I would be uh, today. And that is an inspiration that made me want to uh, get involved with the Kappa League program as well as see to it that uh, young men that I come in contact with on a daily basis uh, you know, they learn positive things uh, because all I want to pour into them each and every day is something positive. Let them know that they can do anything that they want to do uh, with their lives. Thank you so much again for sitting down with us. Reporting for Kappa League TV, I'm Luke Williams. Kappa League TV, where Kappa Leaguers and their mentors share their powerful stories can be found at Kappa League TV on YouTube. This is Niles Holt with Alpharetta Smyrna Kappa League and you're watching Kappa League TV. Hey, that's it, noobs. I hope you enjoyed it. The Kappa League TV 2021 Video Awards. Now, I also wanted to make an announcement that this year, the 21-22 season for Kappa League TV, we are going to be opening up the Kappa League TV media clubs at select chapters around the country. And that's going to be led by our new national media director, Mr. Damon Peebles, who also happens to be a producer for CNN and brings all of that knowledge and all of that wisdom and expertise to training you young men who want to get involved with media. If you want to learn how to do news reports, you want to learn how to work with a green screen, you want to learn how to edit, you want to learn how to write copy, if you want to learn how to be proficient and professional in the media, that's what the Kappa League Media Club is here to do for you. So we hope that you guys will engage with us this year. Um, I'm really excited about the growth and development of Kappa League TV. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all you've done to make this dream of ours come alive. Kappa League TV! Our next award will be presented by Brother Dr. Herman Harris, St. Louis Alumni Guide Right Chairman, here to present the Mel Davis Award. Greetings, Mel L. Davis Award, named in honor of past journal editor, Mel L. Davis, who successfully along with Elder Watson Diggs awardee, Edgar H. Bishop, founded the Kappa Instructional Leadership League. This award is reserved for an undergraduate brother who has demonstrated outstanding guide right leadership. A second, a first and second place award will be awarded following a video of the first place winner. Cameron Edge, Gamma Nu, Kathleen University. L. Quan Atkinson, Alpha Nu, North Carolina A&T State University.
Our next award will be presented by Brother Kojo Candy, East Central Province Guide Right Chairman, and he'll be here to present the Leon Stewart Award. The Leon W. Stewart Award recognizes the most outstanding member of a Guide Right program named in honor of the founder of the National Guide Right Movement of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. We will announce winners for third place, second place, and first place. Ryan Taylor, Richardson Plano, Kappa League. Andra Walters, Jr., St. Petersburg, Kappa League. Christian Butler, Greenville Kappa League. The next award we present will be the Burt V. Watkins Awards. Presented by Brother L. Quan Atkinson, Alpha Nu Guide Right Chairman. The award I'm here to present is the Burt V. Watkins Award. The Burt V. Watkins Award is presented to the most outstanding alumni guide right advisor or director named in honor of Elder Watson Diggs Lorette Burt V. Watkins, who successfully guided the guide right program in Oklahoma City for a period of 50 years from 1937 to 1987. It is awarded in small, medium, and large categories. The winner, first place, silver, second place, and bronze, third place, will be awarded in each category. Next, we will announce the winners along with a video of the first place winners. Bronze Awards. Small Chapter, Troy Wilson, Jersey City Alumni. Medium Chapter, Julius Thompson, Arlington Grand Prairie Alumni. Large Chapter, Ephraim Armstrong. Alpharetta Smyrna Alumni Silver Awards Small Chapter Marvin Dawson Thomasville Alumni Medium Chapter Mark Havener Sacramento Alumni Western Province Large Chapter Devin Jackson Southfield Alumni And the winners Small Chapter Anthony Lee San Fernando Santa Clara Valley Alumni Greetings brothers My name is Anthony Lee and I have the honor of being the guide right director of the San Fernando Santa Clarita alumni chapter, also known as the Valley Noobs. Our mission is to continue to increase the visibility of our chapter by hosting a series of events and programs that will help elevate our fraternity's profile in our community and across Southern California. The goal of our Kappa League is to provide our members the necessary skills and resources for them to graduate from high school, graduate from college, and become valued members of our society. It is my privilege to present to you the San Fernando Santa Clarita Alumni Chapter Submission for Guide Right Chapter of the Year. Thanks for your consideration. Yo. Medium Chapter, Philip Patterson, Miramar Pembroke's Pines Alumni. Large Chapter, Philip Schuller, New Rochelle, White Plains Alumni. Our last category of awards will be the J. Crosby Award, presented by Brother LeVar Brown, South Central Guide Right Chairman. Good afternoon. I have the pleasure of awarding the J. Crosby Award. The J. Crosby Award is presented to the most outstanding guide right program, named in honor of Elder Watson Diggs Laureate, J. Crosby, who served as founder and mentor of the Dayton Kappa League program. Chapters are awarded in gold first place, silver second, bronze third, awards for large, medium, and small chapter categories. And the winners are Bronze Award, Medium Chapter, Sacramento Alumni, Western Province. Large Chapter, Richardson Plano Alumni, Southwestern Province. Small Chapter, Albany Alumni, Southeastern Province. Medium Chapter, St. Petersburg Alumni, Southern Province. Large Chapter, Alpharetta Smyrna Alumni, Southeastern Province. Winners, Small Chapter, San Fernando Santa Clara Valley Alumni, Western Province. Medium Chapter, Arlington Grand Prairie Alumni, Southwestern Province.
March chapter, Silver Springs Alumni, Eastern Province. Sweltering with the heat of oppression, be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I am free. As we come to a close, it is now time to present a man that some call the Big Chief, our National Guy Right Chairman, Brother Kevin Burnett, here to offer some acknowledgments and some remarks. Greetings. My name is Kevin Burnett. I'm the National Guy Right Chairman. Today is about achievement and recognition. The Grand Chapter Guide Right Awards are all about achievement. It is an opportunity to celebrate the best of the best. I do not believe in awards for personal ego sake, but to encourage competition between guide right brothers and chapters of achievement. That competition improves guide right. Congratulations to all the chapters involved in guide right. I would like to particularly recognize the St. Louis Kappa League program for their involvement in almost every national guide right initiative. And I have a special award for you. I would like to recognize the innovativeness of the Eastern Province for starting the Kappa League Debate Tournament and the Western Province for starting the Kappa League E-Gaming Tournament. I'd like to recognize all brothers involved in Guide Right. What you do makes a difference. I'd like to thank the Cap Alpha Psi Foundation for funding our critical programs. And I'd like to particularly recognize brothers Jermaine Murray, Diallo Smith, Anthony Lee, Lashante Keys, Terry Ward, and Dreon Glenn for leading critical guide right projects this year. I'd also like to recognize the hardest working committee in CAPA, the National Guide Right Executive Committee. It is with great honor I serve with brothers Oscar Neely, Doug Scarborough, Ben Jackson, Daida Sieb, John Marshall Jones, Damon Peoples, and Samuel Boyd. I'd like to give a personal shout out to brother Carl Townsend, who started me working in guide right as a scroller in 1975. And I would like to thank our grand Polmar Ruben Shelton for the opportunity to lead guide right. And the thought I wanna leave you with today is my lessons learned from guide right. Young people want discipline and structure. They wanna be heard. Our role is to guide them in the right way. But in the end, we have to step aside and let them find their own way. And if we have done our mission correctly, a leader is created. Thank you. Brothers, at this time, please receive our grand pole mark, Reuben A. Shelton III Esquire, here to present our closing remarks. Greetings to all, and thank you for allowing me to address you at this, this very special ceremony. You know, God is so amazing. And today he again has allowed me to do one of my favorite things and, and that's talk to you. Thank you, Brother Kevin Burnett and your entire team for spearheading what I have always called the most important initiative in Kappa Alpha Psi. You know this because I always say it that uh, Kappa League holds a special place in my heart because I directed the program 
for the St. Louis Alumni Chapter for several years. It truly warms my heart to see how the young men who graduated from the St. Louis program have become very successful in their lives and return to thank Kappa League for giving them the direction to succeed. Kappa Leaguers, I expect nothing less from you. Your program is second to none, and you have learned skills that have given you the firm foundation you need to succeed in whatever field of endeavor you choose. I applaud my brothers across the nation and just about every alumni chapter for their dedication and commitment to you. But I applaud your families much, much more. Your families made an investment of time and other resources in your future by enrolling you in Kappa League. It is no easy task to make sure you attend the many monthly meetings and various other programs conducted in numerous other locations. So make sure you let those family members know uh, how much you appreciate all they have done for you. So again, congratulations to all my brothers, students and parents for committing your time, energy and resources to guide ride programs and having the tenacity to complete it. And students, I hope, no, I expect to meet you all one day and call you my Kappa brother. Thank you, and may God bless you all. I believe Kappa League has lasted uh, 50 years because of the evolving changes that the fraternity has made to support the youth in the community. I think that the impact that we've made is to give them the confidence to know that they are special and that they can do and accomplish almost anything in the world. Right now, we mentor, um, at least in Kappa League, uh, close to 8,000 young men a year, teaching them how to be the next generation of fathers and husbands uh, that will be the ones that will marry our daughters and take this uh, this next generation of African-American manhood forward. I've seen young men come in as sixth graders and they're quiet and they're shy. And as they've been here in the program, actually encouraged them to do things and actually pull them out of, the, out of their, their shells. And as they came out of those shells, those same young men that were quiet and, and shy went on to be become leaders. Um, the majority of our the Kappa Leaguers are from single parent homes. There's no father figure, no male figure in their lives. And they have taken the arms of, of me and saw me as a father figure, as well as their mentor. I've seen some that had to take care of their family. Some that has even went to jail and the first person they call is me. It feels good to be able to hear from a young man who you've known since 12, and now he's in his early 20s and he makes his first home purchase. Um, you know, uh, young men call and just say hello and, and thank you in a random in a random uh, time, you know, even though you're not talking with them on a weekly basis. So um, I would say that the impact that we've had, uh, you know, though it's probably not publicized, um, has been truly, truly amazing. The input that we provide is invaluable. Uh, there's a lot of times that you don't realize just the, the smallest bit of information can make the turn for these young men to take a path that will be more fruitful for them. A lot of people poured into me, and I believe that it's part of my job to pay it forward and to pour into other people with the same lessons that they gave to me. This is the most fulfilling project of my entire life. You know, we see these young men come in and many of them develop in such incredible ways over a three or four year period of time. And we have really kind of gotten them ready to develop into men because we created the foundation. Man, it's just, it's a joy of mine just to see them come out of that shell and, and the blossom, you know, just like the, the, the caterpillar turned into a butterfly. 
you know, anything that has lasted 50 years and sustained that long, it's a pretty darn good program. Our young men are our future. So I just encourage brothers, you know, um, even if your passion isn't, you know, mentoring daily basis, um, provide financial support to your God, right? Chapters, to your Catholic chapters. If you're on the fence about what you want to get involved with this year, come get involved with Capital League. We want to invite every single new to come and bring your skills, come and bring your knowledge, come and bring your expertise and share it with these young men.